guys, today's video is a holiday gift guide for swimmers. I didn't want to do the usual guide that has like swimsuits and caps and paddles and all that jazz because everyone knows swimmers like that stuff and those are all good gifts. So I decided to take a different approach on this and mention all the things that I use that I like and I use them at swim meets and in the car like for a travel meet when we're driving and just stuff that I use that isn't general stuff. This is like unique stuff that I don't think most people would think of. The first item is the Under Armour Beyond Water Bottle. This is my absolute favorite water bottle. It keeps my water ice cold throughout dry land and swim practice for hours and sometimes I'll even leave it in my bag overnight and it'll still have ice in it in the morning. So this is really useful. I mentioned it in my What's in My Swim Bag video. If you guys saw that video and you're wondering why this is not pink, it's because I lost it. So <laughs> this is my sister's but hopefully I can get another one because I really like it and we're having to share this and it's kind of annoying. But make sure you guys go check this out. This is about $29 on Amazon. And I will have all the links in the description for you guys to go check out. Optical goggles are also a really great thing you can get if you need glasses and you don't feel like putting contacts in or wearing them through practice. I don't use contacts, but my dad does, and a lot of my friends do, and they complain about, you know, contacts getting lost somewhere behind their eye, and I'm like, ew, that's so gross! Why don't you just use the opticals? And they're like, oh, I don't know, I just haven't gotten them. I'm like, well, you need to get them. So we got my dad a pair of these last Christmas, and he has mixed um, vision level on each eye, so we got two pairs of these for $20 each. And we just mix the lenses together for each eye, and he loves them. So it ended up being two pairs of optical goggles for him to use. They're also really useful when you don't want to put contacts in early morning for like 5 a.m. practice, and you don't feel like digging into your half-closed, tired eye. Also, last Christmas, when we didn't have meats, and it was like the week before Christmas, my mom and dad took my parka to the embroidery shop without me knowing, because there was no meat, I wasn't using it, I didn't even notice. They took it to the embroidery shop for about $50 and got it embroidered. It only took a couple days. When I opened up the box though, I saw the embroidery and I was like, whoa, that's so cool. My coaches can spot me from all the way across the pool because they're like, hey look, that must be Lindsay. So it's nice to have your name on the back of it so that no one can steal it and other people know that it's yours. We went as large as we could with the letters on the back so that it would fit all the way across. So the letters on here are just about two inches tall, but we could have gone bigger, but my name wouldn't fit all the way across the back of it if the letters were any bigger. And I think they're a good size. You could see them well from far away. My friend had these hanging off of her bag, and I was like, what are those? Those are awesome. They're mini Sharpies and mini highlighters from Target. And they're about $5, and I, they just hang off your bag, and there's like this little cap on the tip of them that just pops them off, and then they snap back on. And they have a really fine tip, so they're awesome for keeping and on your bag and then writing your events down without having to buy um, special like thin tip sharpies because these have a very fine point and I use these all the time for writing my events and then I use these for highlighting the heat sheet yeah these are so convenient I just the minute I saw them on her bag I was like I need to go to Target right now and go get those the next thing is this LED nail polish gel light it gives you a gel polish finish and it comes with a base coat and a, t and a gel top coat that you put on and then you stick them under there. We don't ever use the base coat though because it destroys your nails and it stays on just fine without it. This doesn't work so great for your fingernails when you're swimming because it just makes your polish peel off in thick, stiff sheets. It literally just starts to kind of flip up and then when you go to grab it, it just kind of goes whoop and you have a sheet of nail polish. Although that's really fun to do when it happens in the middle of practice because then you can stick it on your friend's arm and laugh about it because then they're like, ew, don't put your nail polish on me. <laughs> it does work really well on your toenails though because you're not constantly pushing through the water with your toenails. They're just kind of dragging behind you. So it stays on your toes, gives them a really shiny finish, and it does stay on longer than normal polish will. 
I'm going to apologize in advance because these are such a high-end item. These are the Bose noise-canceling headphones and they're $300. But they are totally worth it. And they're not mine. They are my dad's. He does international travel all the time, like 15 hour flights to Europe and Australia and Malaysia and all those areas. And he needs these for his flights because it just can't, these cancel out all background noise and make it really easy to sleep. Every time we go to meets that have like prelims and finals, I will steal these from him and I'll use them to go and nap in the car and they just they attach all the way into your ear so they're not going to fall out while you're sleeping. I use them at almost every meet. They basically cancel out the rumbling of a plane. They cancel all that out and then when you're in the car it cancels out like the sound of rain and the sound of like maybe a scooter going across the concrete, you know, there's that kind of noise. So I really really love these. You can afford them. They are definitely worth every penny. And I also have this really cute sleep mask to go with it. This is just like a padded leopard print mask. Ow! <laughs> I just snapped myself <laughs> in the neck. A waterproof phone case is always awesome to have. This is the Apple one that I have, and then this is the Samsung one that my dad has for his Note 4. Thought I'd mention both for those of you that don't have iPhones. It just has like a little stand on the back, and this one works great. The one that I have has really thin plastic here, so you can still scan your thumb on your phone. And it protects my case really, really well, and I love this one. I used this in my video about the Michael Phelps goggles and it worked awesome. I just kind of propped it up under the block and I splashed it and I got it soaking wet and my phone was totally fine so I love this one. A waterproof phone bag is also awesome to have. This is the Wildtech one that I've also used. This one from Vestpack that I have not gotten a chance to use yet but I am looking forward to trying this. This one has a waterproof headphone attachment on the back of it. This one does seem a little bit more secure than the other one is because it has a double ziplock seal and it folds over and velcros over the top. So I'm going to feel a little bit better about this one than I did with that one. I was so nervous to try that one out. <laughs> a phone wristlet is always a great thing to have. The one I use is about $15 on Amazon and it's from BuddyBox. This one, just if you open it up, it has like a little wallet on the front of it, and your phone can, um, it acts as a little stand. Let me get it positioned. A little stand so you can watch movies and stuff, and it just closes with this little magnet piece on it. You can also easily take pictures with it around your wrist, just so you, you know you can't drop it, because it is long enough to be able to grab it, take a photo, and then let it hang again and go, go, and see, it just hangs right here. And it's really secure and I really like this. Extra batteries are also great if you don't have an iPhone. The Samsung phones that my mom and my dad have have interchangeable batteries and they bought a couple of them and this is like the little charging stand it comes in and the battery just pops out and the entire back of the phone just kind of comes off and you can replace the battery and it works really well. These are $25 on Amazon and same for the smaller ones they had. These are for the other Samsung phones also. A battery backup is nice if you have an iPhone where the battery is not interchangeable. This is about $21 on Amazon and it's the best selling backup battery. Since iPhones don't have interchangeable batteries, this is nice to keep with you. You just plug it into your phone and click the button. This is super awesome to keep. You can bring it to practice with you if you know that you're running low on battery and you might run out and you can just charge it in your locker during practice and it does charge it at a normal speed so within like an hour and a half to two hours it'll be fully charged. This is awesome to keep with you. They have ones that are pink and sparkly and big and thin and small that look like a compact makeup thing. It's just so simple. You literally press a button on it. It's way simpler than all the other ones that have a bunch of extra stuff on them. And it may look boring, it may not be as thin as some of them, but it works the best. 
I am so excited to talk about this thing because this is awesome. This is the Hot Snaps heating pad thing. It's just like liquid here. It's really, really cool. I have to show you guys. You just snap this little metal thing in here and you can see it just spreads and then it gets really, really hot. If I had my parka on and I put it in the pocket of it, it would stay warmer longer because it's in like a warm area. They come in a six pack on hotsnaps.com for about $24. So these are really awesome to bring to meets. Also, the Belkin headphone splitter is awesome, especially at meets when you want to watch a movie with your friends and, you know, there's like a whole bunch of you that want to watch it and you can't share your earbuds with everyone because there's only two earbuds. <laughs> that wouldn't work. And yet when you take the headphones out, you can't really hear the movie because the pool is really loud. It has five little ports on it and it just plugs into your phone like this. And then you can just go and plug your headphones into it all the way around. These are my earbuds. And yeah, so convenient. This one's about $12 on Amazon. This is super cool. It's the Hutu Wi-Fi pod thing. If the pool you're at for Meats has a Wi-Fi, you simply connect to the Wi-Fi and it redirects the signal and makes like your own little private Wi-Fi of the pool Wi-Fi and it just plugs into a laptop or the wall and you can have your own private Wi-Fi for joining Minecraft games so that a world that you've worked hours, days, weeks on doesn't get blown up by some stranger that joins your world on the same Wi-Fi. So this creates like your own little private Wi-Fi that you can have which is really convenient. This simply redirects the pool's Wi-Fi that you're on. So this will not work if there isn't an existing connection that you can use this to connect to. If there's no Wi-Fi, this is nothing. It doesn't work. Last thing is this little tripod. It's flexible and it can fit around the back of a car seat and it just kind of wraps around and you can sit behind it and watch a movie. So it just kind of attaches up to the side and then you can put your iPad or tablet into it and you can turn it whichever direction that you want like this and then it can stretch and get wider so if you have a really big iPad or big tablet it can fit in there and it just plays a movie and it just holds up there so you don't have to hold your iPad and it's really convenient. It's about $40 on Amazon and it's not hard to adjust. See it just kind of goes in. These can be used for way more than just your car though. You can just stand them up somewhere in your house on a desk, or if you're sitting on the floor you can stand it up. If you need to put it around the leg of a table or a chair, you can do that too, because the legs will basically move in any direction you need them to. If you want your typical swim gear for Christmas, I have an Arena Fast Pack review you can check out, Michael Phelps goggles, fitness agility paddles, Michael Phelps snorkel, and a Speedo Teamster backpack. You guys can go check those out if you're looking for normal presents that you can give. Leave me a comment down below on what you would like my next video to be about and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next video. Bye! Like laying on your face, you're like Bleh. You like my nails by the way? I can't talk about something if I'm not holding it because then you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's like this little cube thing. It's not a cube, obviously. <laughs> it's not a blindfold! My precious. Hello. My charging cable, my laptop's going to die. I'll hit myself in the face with it. Ow. toe Flash it and I got it so 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 for Christmas. There's a hair on my face. They'd be like, oh no, there's no Wi-Fi, we can't use it.